Yo, what's going on people, it's your boy 40. Not a lot going on today really, if I'm honest, it's Wednesday. A couple transfer rumours here and there, but the main news coming out of Newcastle United HQ is that Kevin Mbappé has been moved on and has now signed officially for BSC Young Boys. Now, he was on loan there all of last season, made about 15 odd appearances. I think he even scored a goal there as well. Um, he's not been with us that long. We actually signed him in 2013 uh, from a French car side, sorry, called Servet or Serve, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, probably better than that. But yeah, and then went on to officially make his debut for us in 2015 under Steve McLaren. Oh God, when we lost to Sheffield Wednesday in the Capital One Cup. But what he's most known for, apart from obviously his dreadlocks, looking a bit like one of Bob Marley's long lost sons, is that he played against Chelsea a couple of days later um, and had that fantastic, let's say, second debut um, against Chelsea. Um, and then after that, just went by the whistle. I was like, where did he go? He disappeared. But yeah, he played left back against Chelsea, he had a fantastic game. I remember everyone's talking about him, how he man marked, I think, was he up against Hazard maybe at the time? I don't know. But he definitely had a fantastic game and everyone thought, you know what? Who needs Paul Dummett when we've got Kevin and Babu? But after that, it just went tits up for him, literally. Um, and then we didn't see anything from him. And then obviously, he went on loan a bunch of times. Now, he went on loan to Rangers, I remember. He was part of like four or five that went on loan to Rangers. I think it was, what was it? James Tavinia, uh, Gal Bigger Romana, Harris Vukic and Babu went on loan. Obviously, when Mark Ashley had his dealings with Rangers and then obviously came back. Then went to BSC Young Boys uh, last season, did well there, and obviously they've now signed, uh, sealed the deal. And to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought he had some prospects. Obviously, he's only 22, so he's still got a long way to go. Um, it's for an undisclosed fee, but from my understanding, it's probably going to be around about two or three million, maybe some sort of clause in there as well if he does become a top, top player. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some signing on fees from that as well. But, yeah, 22 years of age, obviously, apparently we've done it to balance the squad. But if you look at it now, in terms of right-backs, we've only got Yedlin, Jamie Sterry, and Jesus Gamers. Now, Jesus Gamers for me, he's going to be the same as, like, Darren Murphy. He'll be told to move on. Didn't really have the best of seasons at all in the Championship. So, really, that and truly, that's really Yedlin and Jamie Sterry. Now, obviously, Vernon Nita has been released whether he asked for the release or he was released himself from Rafa Benitez, it doesn't really matter. He's not at the club. So that just leaves us with two right backs, two real inexperienced right backs, if I'm honest. So I know Yedin played there you know, with Sunderland and Sterry. Basically, he's been shipped out alone as much as anyone else has or any other young player. So definitely need to recruit in that area. Definitely need to re recruit in the left back area. And out of the two, if I'm honest, between Sterry and Mbabu, I thought Mbabu looks the better player but as we all know Rafa knows best and obviously Rafa sees the players on a day-to-day -day basis a lot more than I do or any other Newcastle United fan so of course he knows what he sees he knows what he wants it's just a bit of a shame that he didn't make the grade at Newcastle United so that's that one done and dusted other little transfer rumours here and there god I've seen Lucas from Liverpool Apparently he's might be we might be signing him. I don't think that's gonna happen. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna materialise. If we're gonna sign any defensive midfielder, it's not gonna be Lucas. Surely not. And then also Chris Smalling from Manchester United is being linked as well. Now out of the two, I wouldn't mind seeing Chris Smalling. I think him potentially maybe Jamal Lascelles could have a good partnership together, maybe. But um I'm sure that's just hearsay and we'll get linked with so many more central defenders. So many more defensive midfielders, right backs, obviously, left backs, even goalkeepers, even though I still don't understand it. But anyway, I'm just rambling on now. That is it for now, guys. So I haven't got more stuff to bring you guys. But good thing is people start to uh, get their new Newcastle United shirts for this season, even the authentic ones, even though they're 100 quid. And to be honest, I can't really see the difference between the two, obviously, apart from little bits and pieces but yeah if you got your shirt good luck to you and i'm sure the away shot will be out very very soon as well so take care of yourselves see you all soon keep it tuned peace